folks welcome back once again I saved you a whole lot of heartache and trouble and I went ahead and put one set of strings on here there's uh, he sent two packs like this two packs of guitar strings regular guitar strings they are uh, Ernie Ball aluminum bronze medium gauge 13 to 56 we only want to need 10 of those 12 but I, went, I put one set of strings on it just to get in the ballpark, get the saddle height right and the intonation. I got all that stuff right. It's not tuned completely up to pitch yet. And I don't know. I understand that they tune uh, D, A, D, G, D is what I understand. But that's, you know, with... 10 strings on there, there's going to be a lot of pressure pulled on that thing. So I'm thinking of tuning it down one step. Where this, uh, instead of this being a D, it's a C. Instead of this being a, what I say, A, it's a G. And so on. And that wouldn't create nearly as much stress on the instrument. You know, it probably would hold that okay. But, but uh, I don't like to get instruments that arrive here with no strings on them because I've never seen that tuned up to pitch with all the strings on it and you know there's always a possibility of it flying apart when I am breaking the neck off of it or something you know like I say I never saw it with strings all the string or any strings on it it was like uh, what was that that 12 string no some guitar I got in here I got videos of it it didn't have any strings on it either when it got here and I started tuning it up. Maybe it was that old watch top silver so I can't remember. Anyways, I'm going to save you a lot of time and trouble. Tune it up to, I'll decide something. I already set the neck relief the way it is right now at 12 thousandths. And the action is a 564 base side, not base E, and 464 on the high side at the 12th fret right there. Uh, so I'm going to just stop the camera and stop talking. And put this other set of strings on it and I'll get it in kind of in tune I'll bring you back and we'll finish setting the relief. I have to check the neck relief again and probably have to loosen all those strings and adjust the uh, uh, truss rod to set the neck relief so it's going to be a little bit I'll bring you back as soon as possible and we are back welcome back folks got all the strings on and I realized when I was stringing this up you could string that up like a 12 string guitar and like have uh, well with these wound strings you know I could have like a bass wound string and then a treble one just uh, in, paired with it you know what I mean or you can string it up this way the same string sets of pairs I don't know <laughs> I looked online and uh, all of them I saw were, t were strung up like this so like I say, I've got it tuned one step down. It's supposed to be, if you can see up here, yeah. First string is supposed to be D, A, D, G, D. And I've got it tuned down a whole step. So this is C, G, C, F, C. That's what it's tuned to right now. But before I did that, I tightened the truss rod up, took a gas, and I figured, you know, the relief was going to be wrong on the neck. I didn't want to have to loosen all those strings to tighten the truss rod up some more so I tried to guess it and go a little bit too far so I can loosen the truss rod under string tension if I have to and uh, to get the right neck relief. Now we come down here at the uh, seventh fret and we can see it's this is a twelve thousandths here I have seventh fret it is lifting the string a little bit so that's good I don't have to tighten the truss anymore I need to loosen it actually and I'm, I can do that under string tension there we loosened it okay let's check that again seventh If it goes under any one of these three, there we go. Man, it just goes in there and that's all, though. <laughs> I 
it goes under there but it is tight city but it does go under there what if I know up here seven fret it is just I think I'm gonna leave it there maybe I might try to play something on it and see if we have any buzzing but for right now I think I'm gonna leave it right there Twelve thousandths, but it's really tight. We'll check the action now. Oh, ouch! Very tight quarters here, folks. Very, very tight quarters. We want to check that action in playing position, right? Of course. Twelfth fret. Five sixty fours. On the base side of the 12th fret and 464 on the high side. I put radius into the uh, saddle to match the radius in the neck, the fretboard. So that's all. Wild sounding instrument. That truss rod adjustment's got it all out of tune. Let me pause the camera and I'll tune it up, and then we'll check the uh, check that again. Check the relief again. Now that we have it in tune, tune it back up. I think we're going to. I think we're right where we want to be. And I'm noting right at the body fret. And here is seventh. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is perfect, man. Check that out. I can't get under that second second string without lifting it, but that could be because the saddle slots are not exactly the same depth. I mean, we're talking about thousands here. And this will probably be a little tighter on this side, I'm assuming. Yeah, a lot tighter. There, there it is. Perfect, man. Excellent. So the neck relief is all good. Check the action again. See where it went. It moved. Should be real close to the same. I always pick this thing up wrong. Every single time, baby. Okay, 464 on the high side at the 12th fret. That's where it was. And 564s, yeah. I was I had the the gauge on the second string down and was looking at the first one, the one nearest to me. Yeah, okay. 564s and 464. I'm doing it again. 464s, yes sir. Yes sir. Well, let's talk about it. Hold on.
definitely can't play it, that's for sure, but I'll give you a little idea of what it sounds like, maybe. Before I forget it, the owner of this instrument, I had permission all along to tell you his name, and I kept forgetting to do it in the videos. You probably saw him commenting. His name is uh, Scott Ford. So, you'll see him in the comments, probably. Hopefully, he'll, if we try real hard, maybe we can get him, someone who can play this thing, to make a video of him playing it. Because, man, that tuning is just, uh, I don't know any chords or anything. Osborne on the Citroen. <laughs> demonstration of what it sounds like. I got it all out of tune again now. And it is a mother to hold on to and to tune. I was going to say the tune, but it's a mother to hold on to too. I mean it wants to fall down like that. I'm used to a guitar that's got a you know I can lay it on my leg there and it'll kind of balance itself. This wants to fall down like that and you have to I guess maybe you could hold it with your arm like that. I don't know. But there you go folks. <laughs> Coke. Sounds different on this. That tuning. I don't know. Maybe Scott will play us something on it. But there it is. It's tuned down a step lower now from what I understand. Like I said, it's supposed to be, from what I can find out, I don't know anything about tuning one of these or playing it, obviously. I can fix it, but that's it. It's supposed to be the first string, D, from the bottom up, it's supposed to be D, A, D, G, D. Now, like I said, it's tuned a whole step low because... I never saw this instrument with with strings on it. You know what I mean? It came here. It didn't have any strings or anything on it. I gotta put the truss rod cover back on it. But uh, and that's a lot of stress, man. That that many heavy guitar strings, 13s to 56s. Of course, we don't have the 56 on there. But there's still that's still a lot of, of heavy strings, and it's a whole lot of stress on everything, man. And by me not seeing it with strings on it, I'm just kind of covering my ass here because, you know, I don't know how long it's been since it's had strings on it or if the neck was going to pull off of it or what might happen. So I'm going to leave it there. Uh, when Scott gets it, if he wants to tune it up on up the standard, he might, maybe, I doubt it, but he might have to adjust the truss rod a tiny bit. I doubt if he will. He'll probably, he may have to tighten it a little bit because it's going to pull even more relief into the neck. But as stable as that truss rod is, it's got a good, great truss rod in there, two-way adjustable. And as stable as it, it is, it may hold, it may be okay by tuning it on up and nothing change. Or at least not change very much. The action is very low. Uh, you know, it might, uh, it would raise the action a little bit if it had more, pulled more relief into the neck. I set the intonation with my Peterson tuner. Yeah, that's those strings hitting together because they're so loose. 
but uh, like I say, no, not seeing it with strings on it, you know, not knowing if it would handle that amount of stress. That's a lot of stress, guys. And I wasn't going to take the chance. I'll let Scott do that. It's his instrument. I don't want to break it. I do have it fixed. I think it's all okay. Like I say, the action is very, very low. If you want to look at it, if you can see this. Look how close that is, man. Really, really close action on it. So I'm going to leave it alone there. And if he tightens it up and takes it on up to standard tuning, the action won't be that low. And uh, that would even help with those strings buzzing together. And I saw those, I cut those pairs the same exactly like the other uh, saddle was. So they're exact same distance each string is. Double checked it, triple checked it, and it's just like the other saddle was. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and gals. <clears throat> and uh, had a laugh of me making a fool of myself. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't be able to play it. But uh, it's fun. I mean, I can tell it would be a fun instrument to play. And uh, Scott, maybe make us a video, man. Put it up on your channel or send it to me. I'll put it on my channel for everyone to see. And you people may see it again. This is Saturday night right now. And I uh, have to put it in the mail Monday. So I've got all day and all evening tomorrow and tomorrow night to play with it. Maybe I'll learn to play something and make one more video actually playing something better than that on it. Uh, I hear the heat kicking on. It's getting cold outside. Thanks, guys, and cheers, and I will see you on another video soon. Oh, yeah, one more thing. bought myself a little toy. It's got a flashlight built into it. And uh, if you flip it up like that, it's armed. It's a killer stun gun. Wicked, wicked, wicked powerful. I actually got it for my daughter. She works nights, has to walk out in the parking lot at night alone. And uh, just got it for her to carry around. Cheers, I'll see you soon.